So actually a hot tip here. So use your GPS at 90 degree coordinates. And then basically when we go left to right here, we'll get a nice straight line of solar panels. So let's go pretty close to the fence. Hey guys, welcome back to Elm Creek for our new player beginner series uh, to Farming Simulator 22. So carrying off from last episode, we are going to take out maximum value loan so we can facilitate some farm expansion. All right, so I'm going to go, I think we, half a mil is the maximum we can take out. So basically what I want to do is I want some new equipment. Probably want to buy some new land. All right, so half a mil. There we go. All right, so we're cashed up. So what have we got in the used vehicle department, first of all? Because I'm in the market for a new tractor. Uh, nothing currently. Uh, I am going to put down some new solar panels, I think. And I'm thinking just here is going to be a pretty good spot for them. So out of the way, not going to be moved more than likely for a while, um, if at all. So let's, grab, let's get a couple of those guys. Yeah, it's probably going to interfere with the truck a little bit too much. I reckon we can get one in here. So let's do that. Uh, where else have we got room? Here's probably not a bad spot. Uh, probably over here is not a bad spot either. So I think what I'll do is I'll sacrifice part of this field and we're just going to do a row, a row of solar panels down this way. We might even turn this into a solar farm eventually. So the reason why I'm putting these in is basically... So actually a hot tip here. So use your GPS at 90 degree coordinates. And then basically when we go left to right here, we'll get a nice straight line of solar panels. So let's go pretty close to the fence. Just a little bit off. And we'll just see how many we can get in here. We're probably only going to be able to buy four anyway. Uh, not enough money. So I'll, I'll put one more in there when the time comes. Now, obviously that's half a mil, but we'll get repaid over time for that. Because that'll give us how many solar panels have we got now? One, two, three, four, plus another four. So they'll generate probably on average about three to four grand per month. So if we go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, yeah, it could be like 20 to 40 grand's worth of income per month, which will help to supplement our expansion. All right, let's jump into the this guy. So I just want to tidy up some of these edges quickly. So you can see the worker does miss quite a few little bits, particularly with this subsoiler and just the way the shape of the field is. So I'm just going to do this little bit and then we'll get we'll get underway again with the worker. So I think we're going to go potentially sorghum in this field for the first one. Just to mix it up because we've been, doing, we've been doing a lot of wheat lately. So, okay, all good. Let's get this guy moved over. So we'll just square this off and then we'll get the worker to do the rest. All right, what's the price of eggs at the moment? Let's have a look. So eggs are 3,000. So I'm not quite at their peak yet. And how much crop have we got on hand? That's the other question. Uh, quite a bit of wheat, which is good. Chickens are, well, not full, but not empty. All right, let's go and move this guy back into position. So we've also got crop destruction turned on as well. Uh, we're going to need to do some field rolling as well, actually. So we've got to get our crops in the ground first. Uh, what I might do is we'll just might throw in a lease of a tractor. How much is this going to cost a lease? Five grand, then... Two grand per day, JCB fast track maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's bring let's bring our cedar back because we're going to use that uh, relatively soon. Now I don't don't normally like to lease. Actually, I probably need to lime first, don't I? So let's go get this guy filled up with lime. All right, let's purchase some lime. So if you want to purchase lime, big bag pallets, lime. And we'll just grab we'll grab eight. So that's going to be them just over there. So all you do is drive up on drive up next to the line bags hit refill cedar and that'll automatically refill now hopefully it'll continue to operate while we're not in while we're not oh no it's not gonna it's just gonna do one at a time so you have to stay in the in the vehicle for this to happen and you gotta load each one manually 2000 at a time so liming can be turned off if you don't want to play with it on but we're just going to play with it on for a little bit all right i'm gonna get this guy refilled and then we'll come back in once we're done all right we are fully loaded with lime so let's head over to our field, get this guy spreading. Spreading with the brittle. So I don't know if it's brittle or brittle. I'm, so, I'm sure uh, somebody in the comments will know. Pretty sure it's brittle. And I'm going to have a stab and say this is an American brand. 
could, could also be incorrect. So let me know if you know down below. All right, let's get, get this live spreading. So I'm not, not sh sure on how big this working width, is, work, working width is. So let's just drive and see what happens. Oh, it's a pretty reasonable spread. Now, does this actual field need lime? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. So what I'll do is I'll do the perimeter. I know I'm missing a few bits, but not too worried about it. Nobody's perfect, right? So I'll do the perimeter, and then I'll send it off on a worker and see how the worker navigates the headland area. So basically just the, the perimeter, do a lap, and then we'll come back in. So... I will do this outside portion and then we'll come back in. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, here we go. So we've done one lap. We're about halfway through our lime supply. So this is... This would actually be quite a large task. Okay, let's turn that guy off. Um, I'm just going to try and... I think what I'll do... Is I'll square off this little... The... Uh, for lack of a better word, teardropped area. So just here. Which will hopefully make the make it a bit easier for the worker to navigate. So I'll swing around here. Get a bit of an overlap happening. And then we'll just, we'll just see what happens. I'm not expecting this to be perfect. So if I go like that now. We should get a reasonably straight run. And I think we've got helper buy turned on. So our line level should remain the same. Which currently it looks like it is. Alright, cool. Okay, let's jump back into this guy. And I've, I've turned field stone on as well, so there's going to be a ton of stones. I mean, I'm kind of thinking I should have potentially left that off. But they're here now, so... I may do one one run of collecting them just to demonstrate. So let's make sure that needs lime is gone. Yeah, okay, we're all, all sweet there. Okay, let's go fix up these areas. So I do notice with the lizard subsoil in particular, it does have a tendency to... Uh, miss bits. I mean the main benefit of this machine is the working width and obviously because we've got ploughing turned on periodic ploughing and we've got the weeds turned on we won't get any is this worker doing the oh, it's doing where I've already done because I've missed it okay lesson learnt right there so I'll just leave him, leave him go hopefully he figures it out let's go and plough this other field so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fix up this 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 edge. So I'm going to retain that little walkway there. Actually, I'll allow create fields, that'll be good. So I'm just going to retain that little walkway there for the pedestrian traffic. So I'm just going to plow this again. Next time I probably won't. I will just go through normally. But what, what I will do is I'll do this little headland strip up here, and then send this guy off on a worker to do the rest. Okay, so he should be able to navigate that. Okay, this guy... So this must just be the, the AI logic of the workers has a tendency to want to go like left to right or right to left depending on where the starting position is. So let's see what happens this time if we go from here. What should we get? So we are missing a bit, so what I'm going to do is realign that. I'm thinking what I should have done too is sprung for a larger spreader. Which I think I can do with this model because we own it we just need to go and modify it at the workshop so what we're talking about here is the if I can find it fertilizer spreaders there we go so this one here put the six meter unit on there so that would give us a working width of 18 meters which is effectively yeah six meters more than what we've currently got which would get through the field a lot quicker cool all right so yeah basically our direct drill could probably get cracking. Now what I'll do is I'll let that let that guy go. Probably throw down a lower. Uh, should we do our fertilizer yet? All right, which way is this worker going to go? Let's have a look. Okay, so that headland rose proving quite useful. Hopefully he'll get all this this area. I uh, missed a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to take over from this guy. Just to get this done a little bit quicker. Now, probably realistically need to move the chicken coop as well. Um, well, there's really a pro there's a lot of things that we can could be doing.
I think the other thing I was talking about potentially looking at doing was getting the central warehouse mod so that just allows a central location for pallets to distribute to uh, and therefore basically function as a logistic center rather than having to manually load because there's not really there's not that many auto loading trailers um, in the base game for console and I just like that I like that mod in particular a because it auto loads let's get this um, section of field just here I like it because it auto loads and I like it because it consolidates the product so the productions into one location so it just makes life a little bit easier and a little bit more uh, realistic from the logistics side of the gameplay loop because obviously in, in real life if you create a product somewhere in one location you've got to transport it and sell it in a different location and it just removes the need for manual loading which is definitely less of an issue now for console in particular because we do have options okay what I'm going to do I'm just going to fix up this little bit of dead crop destruct ground so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the ground with grass just uh, try and maintain that curve I put in best we can and then we'll just come back through and put in some field grass so what I'll do is I'll just do that and then I'll use the lizard subsoiler to put a bit of a curve in it's actually not too bad so let's go and check it out anyway yeah look that's fine I'm not going to worry about that um, right here let's hook on our cedar actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the newie that we purchased bring that back so we've got it for the JCB fast track and for this guy so I'll cruise down to the shop and I'll see you over there all right, here we are at the shop. So let's go and grab this cedar. So what we should actually do is put some seed in it while we're here and some fertilizer. And we'll repair it as well. So let's grab a couple of pallets of seed. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll grab because we're going to be doing those headland strips we're going to need, probably need pr plenty of seed and fertilizer very expensive 13,000 wow I hadn't really considered how much fertilizer cost maybe I'll start doing um okay so let's repair both of these actually probably what I need to do and what I will do is I will get all this liming field preparation done and then I'm going to sleep before we seed so we can get a bit of a cash injection back uh, just so we can bankroll if there's any any used equipment and take advantage of our 
newly acquired solar panels generating some income for us. Plus we're actually running out of daylight so it's nearly five o'clock. I mean, we've probably still got plenty of daylight to be honest but Let's grab fertilizer from here actually. So hopefully these cedars. Oh that's lime. It's not gonna work, is it? Yes, yeah, so hopefully these cedars will be up to the job doing this area. I think with the two of them, we should be fine. guy back yeah so with the two doing the same area so obviously I'll get one going on the front field first or the back field and then move one over once the job's done don't unfold yet oh it's going on here did it again I think it was just because I tried to hire a worker A nice autumn day too. Very nice. But we can drive across the crop now or the field because we've got nothing planted at this stage, so we're all sweet there. Alright, let's drop we'll just drop this off here. In preparation for our seeding. Okay, where's our JCB? Oh, this guy's been stuck here for a little while, hasn't he? Oh, he's done nothing. Oh, that's annoying. I oh, still get frustrated by these workers. Definitely, definitely need some improvement. Okay, let's just square off this section as best we can you know what I really need that I need, really need that wide spreading disc so what I'm gonna do is blame this video here uh, I'm gonna go get that spreading unit improvement so give this a bit more of a working width which will help our lime spreading operation and hopefully our worker so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll go catch you guys in the next episodes so thanks very much for watching really appreciate it uh, like the video if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of this, otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.